What's going on guys? Chris, Tech Savvy Agent. Got a quick tip here. Uh, put a post on the Facebook page today uh, about multiple tabs and uh, multiple home pages. And uh, it seemed like a lot of people had no idea, you know, what that was. And uh, it's so critical. You know, you guys are browsing the web every single day. So uh, it would make a little bit of sense to, you know, browse the web as efficiently as possible. So trying to keep it down a little bit. I'm at the airport. Uh, you guys can see, be boarding here uh, in a few minutes, but wanted to get a quick tip out for you guys. So here we go. So I'm starting off here, and uh, I'm actually in Firefox, and I'm going to go to uh, the Firefox preferences, and you'll see that I basically just have, you know, my home page set up as Google.com. But what's really easy to do is just open a tab, put in Facebook, for example put in Gmail, put in uh, the MLS. So all I'm doing is opening up these tabs and what you want to be conscious of is uh, the sites that you use every single day. So you have Google, Facebook, Gmail, and now the MLS. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Firefox preferences and then I'm just going to simply hit use current pages. And what that'll do, guys, if I close Firefox, quit it, and then if I open it back up, instead of it only opening Google, you can see along the top, it's lining up everything else that I need all at the top. It's called tabbed browsing. Uh, also works, of course, with Internet Explorer. So the same thing. I have Google open, but I'm going to open up uh, gmail.com. Get that opened up in the tab, open up Facebook, etc. Again, I'm not recommending, you know, which sites to have open, you know, Twitter. I'm just giving you guys the concept of having tabs waiting for you. So now that I have these all open at the top, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to go to Internet Options. I'm going to go in and click on, uh, right here it says Use Current. So I'm going to hit Use Current. And then I'm going to hit Apply, and I'm going to hit OK. And now if I were to close Internet Ex uh, Explorer, which I don't use very often, by the way, and then if I open it back up, uh, Windows 7, Internet Explorer, it's going to pop it open, and you'll see what it'll do at the top. It opens up all the tabs that I told it to open defaultly. So that's kind of like step one. Uh, for those of you that are a little bit more advanced, I would say step two would be understanding that once you're in uh, these different programs, you can also open up different tabs. So here's a great example. If I'm on the Facebook home screen, which has my wall, if I want to open up my profile, this is going to just involve me doing a right click, and then I'm going to put that link in a tab. So that way it keeps the wall open but it also opens up the profile. Same thing, if I want to open up uh, our page, so Tech Savvy Agent, I'm going to go right click, and I'm going to go New Tab. So you can see what it's doing is it's allowing me to have multiple parts of the program open all at the same time, even on a site like Google. If I want to pop open Google News, I can right click, New Tab, and now I have Google and Google News both open at the same time. So, you know, tabbed browsing is uh, pretty critical. Hopefully you guys uh, just picked up something. And I can tell you that if you're on the web a lot, you definitely need to be using tabs. So quick tip at the airport. Uh, thanks as always for tuning in. Chris, Tech Savvy Agent. Thank you guys.